It is still dark outside and we have a surprise. We are on our way to our first chicken show of the year. You hold a smile, I'll hold your hand. Take this love around the world. Don't mind those crows buzzing around your head. Nothing's gonna hurt your girl. I believe you're here for a while, then we die. But I believe this love is stronger than you and I. Let's take the Jeep along. <laughs> For the first time ever, Eleanor was planning to show her beloved Sarama from Mary Carl, Goldie, and another one of her white Saramas. And our plan had just been to show them in cage, just like we do our large fowl birds. But when we got there, the Southeastern Sarama Club really encouraged her to go ahead and participate in the junior tabletop competition. This is where the Saramas, by grouping, are put individually on tabletops and they strut their stuff, they dance, they really put on a show, but Eleanor Saramas had never practiced or been on a table before, and so <laughs> one of them, uh, her little white Sarama Daisy, she wanted to leave the table, and Goldie, Goldie just really wanted to find a comfy place to take a nap. So, at the end of this judging, and the judges were absolutely amazing, this club was so supportive, they told Eleanor something special. What do you say? What? Did you have fun? You looked like you had so much fun. <laughs> All righty, we are headed to get some lunch, taking a little break from the chicken show to get something to eat. And we'll share with y'all how we did in the first round of the show. At a chicken show, it's not really good form to talk about how your birds are doing in the show, uh, loudly or openly. There's some discretion involved there for your fellow competitors because you don't know whose birds are whose, who you're competing against really, unless you see the person standing right there with their birds. Um, so it's always good to be kind and courteous and thoughtful and not um, making a big show of how your birds have placed. At least not until the very, very end when like champion of show and those things are announced. So we've made it to our lunch spot and Eleanor is going to tell you how she did in the junior show so far. Eleanor, your black copper marrons that you showed in the junior show, how did it do? She got that continental in her class. She won the whole class? Yes. She won Best Continental in the first part of the show, and then she won Best of Breed, and what else? She also won Best Variety. Yeah. Then what did you get to do for the first time ever? Show my Saramas in the tabletop show. How, what did you think about that? I feel good and I was confident. I also feel kind of silly when I was doing it because it's kind of silly because you got to clap and you got to chin them on. It's kind of funny. Yeah, you're trying to get them to dance on the table, and none of your, neither of your Saramas had ever been on the tabletop, had they? Yeah, but so, but they actually, how Saramas dance, they just turn around and flap they their flap wings their wings, yeah, and puff up their chest. But my girls, all they did was walk around. Oh, he just looked like he wanted to take a nap. And then what did Daisy do? She, um, she went to the edge of the table. <laughs> she tried to leave? Yeah, she's like, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> and then, and then, uh, you got some prizes? Mm-hmm. 
I got for participating in the junior yes. show. I got some kind of candy fluff, and I got some gummies, and then I got some Valentine stuff, and then I got some. I got two little ostrich. Yeah, pins. Cute little chicken looking pins, but they're ostriches. Yeah. And then, what did you win in the raffle? Um, I got a show box. That holds three Saramas. It was good. Yeah, this was, this was a good experiment for my life. And I really liked it. And I'm glad I got to participate in the um, tabletop show, in the junior show, in that shows that I've done. That's been a good experiment for my life. Yeah, and what was the friend that we met today? What was her name? I met a little girl named Caitlin that wants to start um, showing chickens too. That's awesome. And something exciting for us. So today, Eleanor is showing a black copper bronze. And like she said, it got best of breed, best of variety, and best continental. And best continental is a class win. So it won over any other birds in the continental class for the show. So that was, that was really exciting, at least for large fowl it did. And then we are also showing a lavender Americana. A uh, hen and then a blue Americana pullet, which means it's, it's under a year old. Uh, the lavender Americana got best variety and she is the only one in her variety. There weren't any other lavender Americanas. And we're showing a blue Americana and in this first round she placed um, reserve variety. We're about to have a good lunch though and we're warming up because it is cold. <laughs> it's really cold and um there's a whole other show to be judged so this is a double show so that means they do one judging all the way through and they pick winners and then they do a second judging all the way through so it's a long day but it's a great show and we're having a really good time chickens and i get to hang out with chickens this is what zach has to say about the show when asked what do you have to say about the show we're having a good time together and with the chickens and uh we met up with some friends uh that we know from close to home and uh so we're having a good time and i'm just i loved getting to watch eleanor uh get started with this sarama club she had a blast or at least it looked like she was having a blast they are the most hospitable to kids of they, anything that we've encountered with they chicken shows have been fantastic today i can't believe how how much they've been loving on Eleanor. And yep, and they even told her that uh, Goldie, even though she is a beloved companion, <laughs> is not a show quality Sarama, which yeah. we knew that. We knew we, that. We knew that, but they, um, they have been kind enough that they told us that Eleanor may can go home with some Saramas that she can show. Yeah, I think Eleanor might be kind of excited about that too. I'm very excited because I might think, I think that I'm getting one. You think you might get some really awesome Saramas? And I bet some I of them. I want some that have, like, what they have eye lights on them. Uh-huh. <laughs> have, like, eyeliner on? Okay. Because I saw one that I really wanted that was so cute. It was breaking my heart, and I want them <laughs> to do that. It broke my heart. Mm. Yeah. Well, we'll just have to see. And they are being so kind, even offering mm. to help get you started in showing tabletop ceramas, yes. which is different than showing in cave. What you got there? A steak torta. Look at this. It is steak and cheese, and then all the fresh ingredients on top. There's cooked bell pepper, and then there's fresh onion and avocado and tomato. I'm ready to dig in. When we got back to the show from lunch, we saw that our birds had placed exactly the same in the second show as they did the first show, and it was time to get our birds out of cages. They call that cooping out. We cooped our birds out, and we started cleaning everything up, and on our way out, Eleanor was gifted a pair of Saramas. <laughs> After a busy 
Saturday at the chicken show. Um, we're having a slow Sunday. Slow Sundays are what we like around here. Our grass is greening up so nicely. Looks really good. We are gonna go give the pigs some scraps. Eleanor, what are you putting out for the pigs? Mushrooms. Mushrooms. I don't Throw them. I don't even know if they're gonna eat them, but they are eating their favorite thing. All of these eggs are eggs that I put in water and they floated slightly. Um, we have been getting so many eggs that we haven't been going through as many for us, even though I boil dozens and dozens of eggs at a time. We haven't been getting through them all. Hi, Lucille. Hi, Lucille. Gravy. Do not eat my hair gravy. You can't eat my phone either. These goats. <laughs> hey! You can't eat me. Even if I'm delicious. Boy. City boys. City boys. Stop trying to eat my elbow. Oh. Hi, Willow. She said I'm going to scratch my ear. Y'all, we still really don't know if Willow is pregnant. I love your nose, your beautiful nose. Really not sure. Oh, and my feet. And my hands, of course. This in the whirlwind of the end of the show yesterday, we didn't get a chance to film what Eleanor was graciously gifted by a member of the Southeastern Serama Club. Eleanor is going to show you and introduce you to what she has named this adorable pair. Eleanor, what kind of birds are they? Seramas. And they are American Seramas. Yes. This is Elvis and this is Elvis and Priscilla. Elvis and Priscilla. They are a precious, precious pair. Eleanor's trying to get him to show off a little bit. We wanted to show the size difference and the shape difference between Goldie, Eleanor's beloved pet Sarama that she got from Mary Carl. She is, Goldie's personality is amazing. And you can see the size difference between Priscilla and Goldie. But we love Goldie so much. Goldie just has the best little personality ever. And Priscilla is a sweetheart too. So my sweet new girl. Here on the shop, we have our Peggy Martin Rose. And it looks like Zach came through and took off all of the dead leaves from the frost. And you can see she's sprouting plenty, plenty for the spring, which is gonna be just wonderful. Um, I talked to Tracy Britnell my garden advisor at Just Dig It Farms. And she said, just let Peggy go wild this year. Don't worry about trimming down to three canes or just a couple of canes. Just let her do her thing this first year. And she's been in the ground about nine months now. And our hope for her is for her to just fill this entire space. And we're gonna trellis her over the door eventually. Um, with an arbor right there. But I've got to get something up here on this wall to trellis Peggy on. She can't trellis on a slick metal building, obviously. 
my plan for this, and it has been ever since we planted her last year, is to take a cattle panel and cut it in half. This is a 16 foot long cattle panel. So I'm gonna cut it at about eight feet. I'm gonna mount this cattle panel about two feet off of the ground where the dirt line is. And it is going to be mounted to this shop and that's what we're gonna trellis Peggy on. Having just painted our shop black, I don't really want to put a silver cattle panel on this wall. I want whatever I do to blend in and the focus still be on the plants. And so I'm going to be spray painting my cattle panel, just the front side. I'm not worried about going all the way around, uh, but I'm going to be spray painting part of my cattle panel black. And then in order to attach it to the actual building, uh, we've got stringers that go across and I can see where the screws are and I've got some titanium drill bits and I'm just going to be punching through that metal so that I can get to the wood and use my three inch hooks, which I'll spray paint these as well to hold the cattle panel off the, the wall a bit so that we don't have metal on metal and it's scratching anything up on the shop and that cattle panel is attached in a way that it's going to support the weight of Peggy as she climbs and grows. We still absolutely love this color. It, it throws a little blue, it throws green, it throws gray. You can see the green sheen when you really get up on it, but I love it. And I love how much Peggy Martin and all of our greenery is going to pop against it. This was Sherwin-Williams Green Black that we painted the shop. Cattle panel is so thick and I don't have any um, like big cutters. I'm gonna put it that way. I don't have any big cutters. Uh, I'm going to be using an angle grinder to cut my cattle panel down to the size it needs to be. daylight to work on the rest of this garden bed but I do have some wire here and I'm gonna go ahead and trellis Peggy. When time starts to break and the dawn is away I'll be there when you call me at the end of the day when the world is away Farm friends, thank you for spending the weekend with us. We had a wonderful weekend and we still accomplished something here on the farm outside of just regular chores. Thank you for being here with us. We hope that you have a blessed start to your week and we'll see you back here on Thursday for another video of what's happening here on the farm. Y'all have a good one. Thank you.